Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into Craft because Craft recently, or actually today, released their 3.0 version. Uh, and I have talked about Craft many times before on this channel. And the fact that it is the most beautiful document uh, application on the market. It is sort of like a note taking app as well, but Taking notes inside of here has been a little like taking notes inside of something like Google Docs, probably a little better. But with the release of Craft 3.0, uh, they have actually released a few features. There is actually a hundred new features. I will not go over every single one of them because then this video would last forever. But I am going to touch on a couple and the two main ones, the two uh, I am the most excited about. Uh, and the two I think that has taken Craft uh, more towards becoming a note-taking app. And the reason for why I'm saying it feels like a document application, or at least it has done, is that if I jump into my uh, blog posts here, I think I have them right here, you can see that this is a really beautiful document. Uh, and that is what Craft uh, does. It creates really beautiful documents what it doesn't do as well is like shorter notes that is where uh, i would say something like craft struggles but it also has the added benefit of like having uh, the ability to link different things together which is uh which is uh, great and something a lot of people like. You also have a block based linking so I don't have to link to a page but I can link to uh, this block right here. So there are a few of these features that makes Craft uh, more of a blend between a document and a note-taking app but they have added quite a few things with the last uh, with this last version that has made it more of a note-taking app and the first thing I wanted to touch on, which isn't necessarily that important, but it fits uh, the idea of craft being so beautiful, is that we have styles, so you can apply different styles here. Uh, and it is uh, a lot of different ones. We had uh, backdrops, we have document colors, but uh, it is fun with all of these uh, different uh, styles you have here. So I can apply this one and it will turn into that one. I can actually change the picture. I can go back in here. Let's actually try this stop time right here and apply style. So as you can see, this turns our already really beautiful documents into more beautiful documents. I can also change the color here. So let's say I wanted this to be white. That isn't actually too good. Let's try black. That, that is much better. I like the blue color here, but let me change that up. And you can actually add RGB uh, codes or hex codes right within here uh, for those of you who are um, used to using uh, RGB and hex codes. Uh, this is quite a neat thing to have inside of here, but we have now uh, styles. Earlier, Craft released whiteboards, which I have talked about uh, before, which is another great feature, but something they need to work on a little bit more. But the new features they've added this time are actually amazing. So let's say that I wanted a place, a hub for my, uh, for my uh, social media. I could do a new doc and I could call this social media management like this I think I spelled it correctly let's just go ahead and add it give it a style just for fun let's do this one I really like the colors of these let's press enter and get down here and let's go start with the first thing they've added which is collections and I can insert a new collection and if you've used applications like this before, a collection is basically just a database. And I, like many others, love databases for my projects. You can add different views of databases. Uh, I actually lost mine, but here <laughs> it is back. You can add different views of databases and you can add different filters in those views, which is another great neat feature. I can also go ahead and just delete this view. But let's say I wanted a, a social media management board which I've created here. So here I have my tags and I also have um, 
my uh, title. So let's say I wanted to do a video on craft. I could do that and just press enter. And now I have a video on craft. I can set a tag and let's say this is a YouTube uh, video like this. Just press enter. And now we have that didn't work. Let's try again. There we have it. So now we have a YouTube video. You can press the add button right there to add more things as well. So that means that we basically now have white, uh, now have databases, uh, not as powerful as something you would see in Notion, but uh, still a really uh, nice feature to be added inside of Craft. I can also press this button right here and I can press enter and I can start writing in here. Uh, so I could do uh, all of my uh, different writings inside of here. And once it is, uh, once something is written, you get this like a uh, page right here to show that something is actually written inside of here. So that is basically how uh, the databases work. I can also, I can also click here and let's say I had another one. Let's say I wanted to do, a uh, random Instagram post, a random IG post, and um, let's press enter. And I could then go into tags, add IG, uh, add the option, click it. And now we have IG and we have YouTube. Then I could go in here, I could press filter, select tags, is, uh, let's do IG, apply. And this would then be my Instagram uh, posts while this would be everything. And I could create one of these for each one of my social medias. So uh, that is basically what collections are, which is something I didn't think Craft would release. So um, there has been one thing around uh, these collections because Craft was actually going to uh, start off with uh, objects and object-based note-taking, uh, but they decided to do just collections instead. And some people aren't happy about it. It, in my opinion, it depends. Like, if you are really into note-taking, you would probably like to have a uh, have objects and object-based note-taking. But if you are not that into note-taking and and note taking isn't like a hobby of yours and you haven't tested all of the new object based note taking apps i think uh, you will be happy with the collections because they are much easier to handle but that is uh, the first part which is collections just quickly you can also of course change the name of uh, this if you ever wanted to but let's say I also wanted a task list for my social media management. I could just press enter right here and we could do task or to do list. Uh, let's say I wanted to film a video here and I just write that and give it a due date. And now let's jump back and jump into something called tasks because here all of your docs with tasks will appear and what you can do if you have tasks that you work on a lot is to just drag them and pin them right here. You can also add new tasks. So I have something to do would be a task. I have, let's do take out the trash. That is my regular one. So take out the trash like this. And I could then actually drag this into one of my docs. Uh, and this shows me all of my different docs with tasks inside of them. I can go ahead and hide that, but it shows me all of the docs that have tasks in them. And I can easily click this to see all of the tasks. I can press open doc. I can check this off from right here. Uh, so uh, the way I would basically do it is to have this social media management uh, doc live here all the time be pinned because this is something I will be working on quite frequently and um, we now basically have amazing task management inside of here as well and they actually correlate with the calendar so here it appears in my uh, November 29th um, daily note I can uh, click it here to check it off because they've changed this up a little bit so I can just click to check it off I can create a daily note from here as well 
where this day appears and I will have my task. So a lot of cool things have come and uh, a lot of useful things actually. That is the main point. Everything they've added feels really useful and it uh, feels like it is perfect for something like craft. And with this release they've also uh, they also have an ongoing Black Friday offer which I think is incredible. So you can get craft for five or four dollars each month depending on if you want it built yearly or monthly. So craft has done a lot of amazing things. Uh, it has been a great uh, productivity applications but now I think it is one of the best productivity applications. That was all for today's video. If you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can.